welcome to our next cooking video. Que pasa? We're going to make my version of shepherd's pie in a Dutch oven. Traditional shepherd's pie is made with lamb. Mine is made with hamburger. I'm peeling garlic. I'm peeling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven large cloves. Seven cloves. Seven cloves of garlic. And just because it takes me an hour to make this dish, doesn't mean the video should be an hour long. How long do you want it to be? Two minutes, 58 seconds. <laughs> Chopped garlic. If you'd like to see our knife sharpening video, I can link that below. Next, we have a very large white onion. I might uh, save a piece of this for, huh? for something else. All right. Chop the onion. medium uh, stocks of celery. Carrots. That's not enough. Let's chop some carrots. I like to line them up in little groups. Got your carrots in a row? Try to get your carrots in a row. Taters. Precious taters. Taters in the small saucepan. Rinse them. Fill it up. Where are we at, Dits? About two pounds of all-American lean ground beef. I believe this is 93% lean. Gonna use high heat on the hamburger and all the veggies we chopped. Taters are boiling. Uh, Taters should boil for about 20 minutes. Just check to see if they're tender before you turn them off. The mix here is cooking. I'm going to slice and add some mushrooms. Mm. 
Yeah, keep it cooking, keep it cooking. Now that it's been cooking a bit, I'm going to add some frozen vegetables, green beans, corn, peas, and bring it back to a boil. I added the 14 ounce can of Swanson beef broth. Is this a commercial? No MSG added. Gluten free, 100% natural. Thank you. Now we're going to make some roux. Roux. What do you got there? Just regular wheat flour. Purpose, whatever. Maybe a quarter cup or so. Add water. Stir violently until you get a creamy paste with no lumps. Perfect. Now the mixture has returned to a boil. So we're going to add roux. This is to thicken everything up. So it's less of a soup. More of a whatever thicker than a soup is. Making me hungry. Yeah. Probably eat sometime tonight. This takes a long time. It's a big job. But this is a lot of food. A lot of food. Alright. Alright, you can see it's got thick. I tasted it, so even though the beef broth has salt and seasoning, uh, I think just salt in it, I'm going to add some salt and pepper to taste. You want it pretty thick because they call this pie. Be able to slice it. All right, we're going to turn the heat as low as we can. To the simmer while we mash the taters. A little bit of butter sour cream, a little salt, a little pepper, little Horizon Organic DHA Omega-3 milk, mashing the potatoes with a fork because that's how you do it out here. All right. All right, I'm putting the Dutch oven on the stove to preheat the pan. And the reason we're doing this in a Dutch oven is to 
kind of coagulate everything together like if you were baking it in an oven. Ditsy's gonna turn off the camera and help me take about half of this mix and put it in Tupperware so that we can uh, do this again in four or five days. All right, we've preheated the Dutch oven a bit. Turn it on the lowest simmer setting. We're going to take these delicious mashed potatoes. I could have made them a little runnier to spread out better, but it's alright. This is uh, the whole deal. We're going to cover it up, let it sit on a low simmer for a half an hour, and take a look. We're probably getting about uh, eight to ten servings out of both batches at a cost of about twenty dollars total. Are you ready? Yep. Something happened. Yeah, somebody took some. Oh, what happened? Neighbors. Looks like a shepherd's pie. Good to me. Is good. If you like our YouTube videos, subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button.